The old saying goes, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. When we embark on an instructional design process, we'll want to consider this truism. Sometimes we get caught up because we are told to develop instruction for a problem. It's easy to make assumptions and get started. This can be a short-sighted approach. As we begin our analysis in the instructional design process, we need to ask, is instruction necessary? You might ask yourself why pursue an instructional project if instruction isn't necessary. This is a valid question and is often the first question in the analysis phase of any structured approach to instructional design. This question is often overlooked and skipped as people begin an instructional process. If you recall, I challenged you to take an unhurried and reasoned approach to the study of instructional design. I asked you to consider focusing on the intricacies, steps, and questions of a systematic approach to design. Let's consider asking this question of necessity as our first stop along the way. Consider how much it costs in terms of resources to develop instruction. It can be expensive in terms of people's time and commitment. There could be a significant financial investment to be made to develop instruction. If instruction is not needed, then why develop it? And how many times have we found ourselves either hearing a group or a person of higher power declare that instruction is required? Ask why. Okay, it is a simple question. Is instruction necessary? Where do we begin and what are the conditions to help us decide? Start with asking questions. In reminding ourselves of that adage, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, we might want to engage those who requested the change. We might ask them what problem or problems exist, or what they believe new instruction will fix. This might be a good starting point, asking why they think instruction is necessary. If the current instruction works, consider not investing in new development. Have you now concluded that if effective instruction exists, then we should not change it? Well, on the surface, the conclusion makes sense. It might be that those requesting the change are wanting to expand, contract, or change the existing instruction. Or they may want to change the delivery format, say from a textbook or lecture to an e-learning object or a self-paced version of the instruction. These may be valid reasons for the change, but we might not know or understand this motive if we didn't ask the questions is instruction necessary, or why is instruction necessary? There may be situations that appear to need instruction, but don't need it. Consider situations where the current instruction is adequate, but it's not delivered or communicated. One example may be a training process in a company that actually works well when used. The problem might be that no one is using the instruction, yet the higher-up has declared the new instruction is needed. A simpler approach for this example may be to ask employees to revisit the existing training instead of redeveloping the content. Other examples might include situations where just a small part of the instruction needs to be redesigned, or circumstances where the instruction is solid and the problem is the teacher, instructor, or trainer. Perhaps the instruction is solid, but unsuitable for the selected target audience. There may be other situations where a problem exists, and the perception is that instruction is the solution. Instead, it may be an issue of garnering more resources and not designing training or instruction. If we assess a problem or need exists, and an instructional solution may be the resolution, then we can go deeper and ask more questions. In sorting out these questions, we might say we are beginning the first phase of our instructional design process, a phase defined as the analysis phase. Your instructional design process for a specific situation may or may not be complicated. I suggest that this simple question may be a good starting point in any instructional design process. Let's first ask the question, is instruction necessary?